Captain Rudian Paka once again. I have discussed already Annex 1 and Annex 2. All the rules I have already finished. Today we'll discuss Annex 3. And what is Annex 3 all about? Okay. First, let's just review Annex 1 positioning and technical details of license ships. Where are you going to position it? Annex 2 is a special one. Why? Because Annex 2 talks about fishing vessel my favorite vessel because bringing my favorite fishes fishing vessel additional signals for fishing vessel fishing in close proximity <laughs> annex 3 is about technical details of sound signaling appliances so while discussing we may open rules 32 to 34 about sound signaling together with the rules and animations so that it is me clearly explained to you fellow mariners and now let's start annex 3 technical details of sound signaling appliance okay you see one vessel, you saw one prolonged blast, you saw a warning blast, but what are the technical requirements for those one? Let's open our animation. Okay. Here, on my left side is the rule. On my right side is the blasting. Annex 3, number 1. Alpha, frequency and range of audibility. The fundamental frequency of the signal shall lie within the range of 70 to 700 hertz. So it's so technical. The range of audibility of the signal from whistle shall be determined by those frequencies which may include the fundamental one or more higher frequency which lie within the range of 180 to 700 Hz plus or minus 1% for a vessel of 20 meters or more in length 180 to 210 Hz plus or 1% for a vessel less than 20 meters in length and which provide a sound pressure level prescribed in paragraph 1 Charlie below very easy let's go with 2 Bravo this is whistle, okay? Let me rewind you, fellow mariners, that is whistle. Sharp laugh. Wow. Word whistle means any sound signaling appliance capable of producing one sharp blast. One second. Remember the poor, the prolonged blast? Oh, the prolonged blast is four to six seconds. Again, prolonged blast. This is the technical description of sound signaling appliance. Okay, limits and fundamental frequency. To ensure a wide variety of whistle characteristics, the, whistle, the, the fundamental frequency of a whistle shall be between the following limits. 70 to 200 hertz for a vessel of 200 meters. Okay, 70 to 200. 130 to 350 hertz for a vessel of 75 meters but less than 200 meters in length and 250 to 700 hertz for a vessel of less than 75 meters in length. Very, very easy. Fundamental frequency. 3 Charlie, sound signals intensity and range of audibility. A vessel fitted in vessel, the whistle, shall be in a, in a direction of maximum intensity of the whistle and at a distance of 1 meter from it. A sound pressure level in at least one band within a range of frequency of 80 to 700 hertz, one plus or one percent or minus one percent for a vessel of 20 meters or more in length, 180 to 2000, uh, 180 to 210 hertz plus one or minus percent for a vessel less than 20 meters in length or less than 
the appropriate given in the table below. Okay. Here you could say the length of the vessel is tabular and it is it is in accordance with the vessel length there is a required sound signal intensity and range of audibility how far you can hear how far you can hear the sound remember the lights they have also range of visibility the sounds they have what we call range of audibility and this is what we are talking about okay so the vessel in section one is range of audibility in bravo it's limits of fundamental frequency in charlie we have the tabular in delta okay this delta make an animation for you we make a drawing for you okay directional directional properties the sound pressure level of a directional whistle shall be not more than 4 decibels, decibels below the prescribed sound pressure level on the axis of any direction in the horizontal plane within plus or minus 45 degrees of the axis the sound pressure level at any direction in the horizontal plane shall be not more than 10 decibels below the prescribed sound pressure level on the axis so that the range in any direction be at least half the range of the forward axis the second pressure level shall be measured in a one-third active band which determines the audibility range okay let's go with the figures so that it's very very clear okay if this is the trumpet okay where are you yes yeah. this is the trumpet here the red one you make a horizontal line and you draw a 45 degrees above and 45 degrees below. In essence, that is a 90 degree. But since your trumpet is horizontally placed here, the 45 degrees and the 45 degrees will give you a semi-diagonal shape, actually a diagonal shape. Okay, so this 45 degrees there is range of audibility that is being defined so it should be four decibels you see you see this one four decibels from 45 degrees to 45 degrees this is the at any direction in the 45 degrees at the sound pressure level at any direction of horizontal plane okay clear it's very clear okay so so in if you have to to sound it it should be able to go up in 45 degrees and 45 degrees down at four decibels okay next the drawing the next drawing will show you the second requirement which is the sound pressure level at any other direction of the horizontal plane shall not be more than not more than 10 decibels below the prescribed sound pressure level on this axis so that the range in any direction will not be will be at least half the range of forward axis okay the range of audibility for vessel of 200 meters or more they have this following range and the following range of sound okay so this will give you a clear definition as per the length okay so that is directional properties echo positioning vessel when a directional vessel is to be used the only vessel in the vessel no other vessel no other vessel okay let's show you let's show you the oh, why don't we show you the the, the pictures huh? yeah. so this one Normally, we place here, right on my head. So normally, we place it right on my head here. So the rules is that for you put above the bridge. So the rules of an electronic vessel is very, very clear. Okay, so to delta, that was to echo, okay. 
when used is only visual it shall be installed with a maximum intensity directed straight ahead not here not there straight ahead a, we a whistle as stipulated in two echo shall be placed as high as practicable the one i showed you a while ago as high near the radar mast in order to reduce interception of, of emitted sound by obstruction and also minimize hearing damage risk to personnel if you put that at the deck level and people are working they will go deep patay ah, it's too it's too loud okay so and and this is for safety reason the sound pressure level of vessel own signal at this impulse should not be more than 110 decibels uh, so far as practical should not exceed 100 decibels okay in alpha alpha position next fitting of more than one whistle if whistles are fitted at a distance apart from more than one enemy, it shall be arranged they are not sounded simultaneously meaning if you want two whistles because one whistle is not enough it should be fitted of not more than 100 meters and make sure they will not sound together that's the rules in the gulf okay and the whistles in two both combined whistle system in due to the presence of obstruction of some fields of single whistle or one of the whistles referred to in paragraph one fast track above is likely to have a zone of greatly reduced signal level it is recommended that the combined whistle system be fitted to overcome this reduction for the purpose of this rule combined whistle system is to be regarded as a single whistle the whistle of combined system shall be located at distance apart of not more than 100 meters and round and arranged to be sounded simultaneously. The frequency of any shall differ from those others from at least 10 hertz. Okay. A combined whistle system is accepted by rules. Uh, the one we have defined that you need another whistle and it should not be sounded simultaneously in a combined whistle system because each of the whistle has certain efficiency so it can be sounded together okay bell or gong what is bell of let's review what is uh what, what you are talking about what is bell or gong or gong okay so i have to open again i think it is rule 30 yeah 33 or 4 okay this is bell of gong 33 okay bell this is bell Go. shaolin remember i told you about shaolin and this is the bell so what are the technical specifications for this one so it is it talks about in Annex 3, Section 2. A bell or gong, other by or other device having similar characteristics, shall produce a sound pressure level of not less than 110 decibels at a distance of 1 meter from it. Construction bells and gongs shall be made of corrosion resistant material. Never corroded. That's why it's expensive and easily be stolen on some other places okay so it should be a non-corrosive corrosion is a material designed to give a clear tone the diameter of the mouth of the bell okay the diameter should not be less than 300 millimeter for a vessel of less of 20 meters or more remember this one bell 300 diameter millimeters 300 diameters millimeters okay it's very easy for vessel 20 meters and then we practicable a power driven bell striker bell striker is recommended to ensure constant force but manual operations will be possible the mass of the striker should not be less than three percent of the mass of the bell okay. if you use a striker bell if you use a striker, okay, if I use a striker, 
if I use a type, the mass shall be 3% of the belt. Okay? And it is recommended to ensure a constant and consistent force, not uh, weak force, strong force. And then talking about constant and, and consistent force. Now we go for approval. The construction of the sound signaling appliance under performance under insulation on board the vessel shall be satisfactory to the appropriate authority of the state which the flag of the vessel is entitled. Your vessel is NIS, it's Norway. Your vessel is Singapore, then it's Singapore flag. Your vessel is in Panama, then you are a Panamanian flag. FOC, flag of convenience, maybe. Or maybe you are a Turkish flag, maybe you are a Philippine flag, you are a Japanese flag. GIS, they call it JES. Wow, Japan flag. So, the, 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 the state depends on where you register the vessel. So, they have a flag state inspector. So, when you go to dry dock or you go to a construction or reconstruction, you call this flag state representative, they call it inspector, to inspect if and to approve if you are complying the rules of Colrex 1972 as far as the technical specifications of sound signaling appliance including their performance and their installations and their places. Fellow mariners, Captain Rodian Paka once again, we have done already an extract of Colrex 1972. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, happy sailing.